Hey there, this is Brad from FirstSightGuide.com, and in this video, I'll be walking you through how to set up your website with WordPress, a reliable, easy to use content management system that's great for managing everything behind the scenes. I'll go through the sign up and the setup here on my screen with you so you can get your new website online today. If you're ready, let's get started. When you're getting your new website set up, you're going to need two things to get online. A domain name and a web hosting account to store your files. The domain name is what visitors will type into their address bar to find your website. As an example, you could call it www.ryansfirstblog.com. There are hundreds of web hosting companies out there. We've tested InMotion Hosting, Web Hosting Hub, and Bluehost. For this video, we'll be going with Bluehost. So let's go ahead and use the first site guide link to pull up the website. So we'll enter www.firstsiteguide.com slash Bluehost into our address bar. That'll pull up the main website. Up here on the slider, you'll see a green Get Started Now button. Go ahead and click there. You'll be taken to this comparison chart of the different hosting plans that Bluehost offers, the Starter, Plus, and Business Pro. Since we're going to be hosting one website for now, let's click on the Select button underneath the Starter column. Here's where you'll enter the domain name you've decided on, and then click Next down below. On this new page, you'll enter your account information, starting with your first name, last name, your country, street address, city, state, zip, phone number, and your email address. Down below that, we'll go through the package information. For the account plan, you can either go with the 12-month, 24-month, or 36-month option. You'll see the longer that you purchase for, the price drops per month, making it more affordable. Next, you'll want to decide if you'd like to activate domain privacy protection. Without it, your domain information will be publicly available online. With it, Bluehost's information will be used to protect your personal information. If you plan to do backups of your website yourself, you can uncheck the Site Backup Pro option here. I don't usually use the Site Lock Security option either, so I'm going to go ahead and uncheck it. Keep scrolling down and begin filling in your billing information, your credit card number, the expiration date, and the signature code. Once you've double checked your information, tick the I agree box and then click on the big green submit button. A few minutes later, you'll receive your welcome email from Bluehost with your username, name servers, and FTP information. To edit your password and log in, you'll click on the update your password link right here. Once you've finished that process, you'll be inside the Bluehost account dashboard. From here, you can adjust the settings of your account, change your billing information, and much more. Right now, what we want to do is look for the Website Builders section and find the Install WordPress icon and link, and then click there. Then let's click Install. and make sure that your domain name is selected in the drop-down box and then click check domain for this last step I like to check the show advanced options box here and then change my site title and also save my admin password Scroll down just a bit farther and agree to the terms and conditions, and then click Install Now. 
Once your install finishes, you'll see a View Credentials button up top here. Click there, and then click on the My Installs link on the left. Within this section, you'll see your domain name and the information for your WordPress installation. Let's click here on the Admin Login and then enter in your admin email address as well as the password that you saved from the installation page and then click login great now we're inside of the WordPress dashboard this is where you'll adjust settings add new posts pages and change up the appearance of your website You'll see up top here, it says, your site is currently displaying a coming soon page. Once you are ready to launch your site, click here. Let's click there. And now our website is live. If we hover over the name of our website in the top left and right click to open it in a new tab, you'll see the default theme has been installed and is showing a Hello World post. The good news is, that's all there is to it. Your website is now set up and online. Great work! Now, before we finish up with this video, let's click back over to the dashboard. And we're going to change the theme of our website. Hover over the Appearance section here on the left, and then click on Themes. Click on WordPress.org themes here near the top and you'll be able to browse through different styles and looks. Let's go with this one. We'll hover over it and then click on the blue install button. Once it finishes installing, we'll click on activate. It doesn't get much easier. If we hover back over our website's name and open it up in a new tab again, we'll see the new theme has been applied and the appearance has been completely changed. And that's really all there is to it. There are some more tweaks to do, as well as adding new posts, pages, plugins, and adjusting additional settings, but we'll leave those for another video. Speaking of which, we have a bunch of helpful video tutorials and guides over on our website here at firstsightguide.com. We'd also be happy to help you out with any questions you might have, so feel free to contact us. Take care and enjoy your new website.